Hi, window watchers. You know what this is? I expect you do. It's a camera. And you know now with summer coming on, we're going to be outside, we're going to be doing just a lot of things that are fun, going on vacations, and it's always a lot of fun to take a camera along and take pictures of some of the things that we're doing so that we will always be able to remember just by looking at the pictures some of the good times that we've had. And so I've asked my friend John Morgan to come over today and to tell us some things about cameras. He's a photographer, you see, so I figured that he'd probably know a few things about cameras that you and I wouldn't know. And I see that you have some, some different kinds of cameras here. John, would you explain them to us? Well, sure, Sonny. Uh, this one here is a fine little camera for people. There's not too much to it to get too involved, so it comes apart very readily. Now, this part here is the lens of the camera. That big dark circle in the center. And, uh, yes, and in the middle of it is the, the lens part through which the light travels to make the picture. In other words, the picture kind of just goes right into this little lens right here. That's right. And mm -hmm. then this part here, along the top, this long tube, with this little hole in the back, is called the viewfinder. And that's what you look through to put your picture in the, the object you which you want to photograph in the right part of the picture. Now we'll take this apart very slowly here and we'll tip this up like this and if you look down in there I think you'll be able to see the shutter click now. Oh you see yeah. that? Uh -huh. Do that it again. Right like that. Now you see that's how the light gets in to the film to take the picture. When you get all set and lined up you just push this little gadget up here and uh, it, it clicks, clicks and you can hear it click and the light goes through and it's recorded on the back. Well now wait a minute, let's see here now. You line up and look through this little piece right here through the back to see what you're going to take a picture of. And then by pushing this, um, would you call it a shutter click? Yeah. All right. I then that opens this little lens so that the light goes in and then closes it in a hurry, and that's what happens when we can hear it. It opens and then it closes, right? That's right. That's okay. just exactly the way the camera works. And all cameras work the same way. This is a nice, simple little one to which you have very little trouble operating. Now we'll set this one right over here, and we'll have another one here, all right, what which is a little more, has a few more gadgets on it. Gee whiz, that has a lot of buttons and things on yes. it. Yes. Now down here in the front, right up close here, you can see it has a little knob that you can push back and forth. Uh -huh. What's now, it for? Now, this controls the amount of light that is transmitted. On a hazy day, that's a day when the sun isn't out so bright, you put it over there, that opens the diaphragm inside uh -huh. so that more light can go through. That will make a rather large opening in there. Now, on a bright day, that's a day when the sun is shining, you push it to the middle one. You see there's a little symbol on there that looks like the sun is shining. Uh -huh. And that closes the hole down a little bit. And then on a real bright sunny day, or the day in which uh, you're uh, perhaps down at the seashore or in the winter time when there's a lot of snow around and there's everything is real bright, you push it way down to there. That makes the little hole much smaller. Oh, I see that on a hazy day, if we put this little button way over here where it's marked hazy sun, mm -hmm. then it opens up this lens in here so that more, if hazy day means a kind of a dark day. That's right. And then it opens up this little hole so it's bigger so that more uh, light can get in. And then on a bright day, it closes it just a little bit more, right? That's right. So not too much light gets in. And then if we push it way over here to a very, very bright day, we don't need all that light, so then it closes it up so it's just a tiny bit. That's right. I see. Well, what happens if we, if we take a picture in a very, very bright day and we forget to move a button on the camera and so it's over here with the, the shutter is open in a great big wide circle? Well, that <coughs> uh, what occurs then is what we call an overexposed negative. And if people have on white shirts or anything that's real bright in it, it will create sort of a halo. Perhaps you have seen pictures that have uh, at the end of people little bright things running out over their shoulders. That's what occurs when you forget to When you to get do too that. much light in the picture. That's right. Mm -hmm. And another nice thing about this particular camera 
is that you can get a flash attachment for it which goes right here on the side that's fastened on here and just screws on the side here and there are batteries put in here and you have seen flash bulbs. Oh yeah. What are all these little funny lines? Well, like that's an aluminum foil in there that will go off and uh, that gives you the light for taking pictures inside when uh, you don't have the use of the sun like you do when you're taking pictures outside. That's sort of like carrying your own sunshine around in your pocket. Oh, I see. Can you use these bulbs more than once? No, those bulbs are only good for one picture. Once you've uh, used it, it's finished. You throw it away and have to use another have to one. Use another one. Uh -huh. That's right. Well, it's uh, kind of fun to take pictures in the house. Too, oh yeah, you? sure. When you have birthday parties and that sort of thing, why yeah. you, you get everybody all lined up. And then well, you can go. Now we looked at the viewfinder on this tiny one here. Where's the viewfinder on uh, this? On this, this one. This big one. I don't see any. Is it right there? Well, that's the lens. But you look down in here. Oh, on the, top, on the end see. of it. That's right. You're looking down through the top. This has a little lens hood here, you see, a little viewing hood through the top that holds out the, the sunshine, keeps the bright light off this little uh, ground glass that you're looking on here. Uh -huh. And uh, the nice thing about this particular camera is that uh, when you're looking here, your image is right side up. And it makes it very easy to compose, that is to get the right, the thing that you want to photograph in the right place on the picture. So you know something that I think maybe we should talk about right now is um, when we're taking a picture, you know, sometimes when I take a picture with my camera, I take all these pictures and then after the film comes back from the developer, well, I might have a picture of a very good friend of mine and the head's cut off of it or the forehead's cut off. Either that or they're all feet. Well, that's so because you haven't uh, used this finder properly. You haven't gotten their heads in. You've tried to get too much, too close to them, and you have cut off the, their heads or their feet. Mm -hmm. You haven't tipped the camera. What happens in a great many cases, I feel, let me have this, is when you point it like this, you get excited when you're taking a picture, and you'll either tip it up or down, and that'll cut off their... Mm -hmm. well, now, let me just see. You hold it just like this, and then just push the button down and up like that, right? That's right. Now, a good little rule to remember when you're taking pictures is to hold the camera real steady. That's yeah. uh, that what happened. Perhaps you've seen uh, on occasion some of the, the pictures come back. They're all fuzzy. You can hardly recognize Well, isn't the that because the, the, um, the subject, like if I was taking a picture of the dog, and the picture came back fuzzy, wouldn't that mean that the dog had moved? Not necessarily. I think in most cases you'll find the person who has taken the picture is the one who moved. And it's very oh. difficult for people to stand still for a 25th of a second. That seems like a real short period of time, but uh, that's the duration of the time that that little thing is open in there, it's a 25th, and people just find it very difficult to stand still that long. Well, how can we make sure that we're standing still. Well, if you sort of rest your elbows down here like this uh -huh. and hold your breath when you click it, it will tend to eliminate so that So you trouble. say one, two, three. <gasps> well, you don't have to be quite so dramatic about it, but that's <laughs> the right thing. But just holding your breath then will uh, tend to keep the camera steady. That's right. Now, mm -hmm. notice you're doing something else there that's rather a common fault. You have this finger here over the lens of the picture so that oh. instead of getting your friend or your pet dog, you'll wind up with nothing but a something for the record for the FBI, your fingerprint. My fingerprint. It. I know that's something that I always have to remember to think of before I take a picture is to look and see whether or not my finger's in front of the lens. Well, what about the film that goes into the cameras and how do you, how do you put the film in? Now, if we were uh, buying a camera, by the way, how much could I buy a camera for about this one here? How much? This one runs this? around five dollars for that one. This one here is about twenty-five because uh -huh. it has a great many then more gadgets. Then you can on. you can get them so that this would probably take just about a good picture. Oh yes, I think that's a fine camera to start with for mm -hmm. window watches. And it's not very expensive either. But what about uh, taking it apart and pushing this and that and the other thing and putting the film in? How am I going to know if I buy a new camera? how to do all of these things. Well, the nice part about all that is that when you buy these things, the manufacturer has been thoughtful enough to include in the package a fine little booklet that uh, has all the, uh, the pictures in there and the parts of the camera and show you just exactly how to do it. Oh, here it tells me how to open the camera and how to put the film in. 
what kind of film to use. Oh, this is very nice. Uh, and in addition oh. to that, you'll find that the, the man from whom you buy the camera will explain a great many of these things, so that before you leave the store, you'll find that you're pretty well acquainted with the, your purchase. Oh, that well, that's, exactly well, how to that's do it. something nice. No, um, you've got some film over there. You know, I've never seen film. I mean, I've seen it in the roll, but I've never seen what it looks like on the inside. Well, uh, in order to save the, the window watchers some trouble and some expense, we'll open this one up. All right, let's do and, it. And uh, they can see what's on the inside. Now, we'll first we'll open up the end, and out comes the roll, all wrapped up in light, tight paper. Uh -huh. And we'll just unwrap this right fast. Now, this, you can, you can do this part in, in, in the daylight, you see? Now we have a, a roll here, it's all sealed. Now, we break the seal. This is the way you normally load a camera, uh -huh. you have to break that seal, see? And you can roll this out to put it in the camera. There's no film there yet. Oh, that black part isn't the film. Oh, well, I always thought that was the film, and if I unrolled it too far, I'd spoil all the pictures. No, we haven't gotten to the film yet. We'll, we'll just pull this out a little bit further here and give the... you hold that there, uh -huh. And then... See, this is interesting. We'll remark about those little dots in those a minute. Little dots. Now, here we come. This is the film, you see. Oh, that light piece mm -hmm. right here. That's the film, you see. It's a little gelatin base. Oh. Light sensitive this film. This is light. what the pictures go on. That's then. right. Well, then, um, after, this is the part that the man who is making the pictures up for us dips it in all sorts of things. And is this what the negative is? That's too? right, the negative. The, it's, you will have this same piece of material returned to you with uh -huh. it with the negatives on it. Let's see what's on the back. Are look on the back. Oh, look at oh, all the little figures and mm -hmm. numbers. And That's the little numbers and things that appear in the little red uh, light, the little on back end of the camera that says, you see, here's one, that means you had the first picture, uh -huh. and then you wind it up, and the two, and the di this different spaces, and these, so of you buy the cameras have different size pictures, uh -huh. some are two and a quarter, and some are three and a quarter inches long, and that's why these are separated. Some of them are further apart. You see how oh, far it I is see. from one to two yeah. here, and now one to two here is real close together, uh -huh. you see. Well, then when we put them in the camera, now let's see, well, I think we can hurry up and put well, one we'll, in we'll there. Try it. We'll rewind this just, we'll have to scoot along here a second and grind that up. Now, we'll open this up, and this goes in. Goes down Down here. in the back here. The back. Let's see. And then this feeds up over here and goes to this little slot uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. that, this part goes in here. And you wind it up like that. You get it straight. This is rather important. You see, you get it real straight like that. And then you close it up and you're all set. Well, I certainly learned some things and I was thought it was kind of fun to look at this film all unrolled too so that nobody else has to spoil some. John, will you come back and show us how to develop these films some other time? I sure will. I'll be glad to. Okay, and thanks a lot for coming today, and we'll see you tomorrow, okay? Goodbye now.